is sometimes because we have areas of imprisonment or bondage in our lives that typically we're not looking at. And of course, if we're deceived in them, the whole point of deception is you don't know that you're deceived. So what Jesus did with parables and did it with the Pharisees was that very thing. They said things like this, we've never been slaves of anyone while they were under Roman oppression. So Jesus teaches parables and does things that disrupts and confronts and is an affront and sometimes an offense to us. And I'm going to ask you not to immediately defend it with trying to get an answer or tie a bow on it, but bring it to the Lord and ask him, is this you being an affront to me? Do I have paradigms that need uh, transformation? Well, the answer, of course, is yes, of course we do. Um, and you might say that in conversation, but in practice, when it begins to happen, we, we tend to get defensive, don't we? So I want to encourage you to invite the Lord to do that. I don't have all the answers, but listen for what he's saying, because it's impossible that at this stage in our life, we know everything there is to know about God, that we have all the levels of experience with him that he wants for us. We're going from glory to glory. So let that happen as we go along and don't worry. I'm